we developed an open source miniature microscope system. So essentially what we do is we take the little cameras from your cell phone, they're really tiny, and we take some plastics and we make a little miniature microscope. What this technology does is allow us to peer into the brain. We can watch the neural activity. So the idea is that we can you know, use the same kind of measurement and understanding general principles of brain activity across species. If we can read the activity of your brain, then we will know, you know which are the neurons that represent your mom or maybe a traumatic experience, for example. And then later on, we can then selectively go into those specific neurons that we read out from and write into those neurons. So let's say we will now silence the neurons of that traumatic experience, right? And maybe that this can benefit PTSD. My lab also studies aging and age-related cognitive decline. And something I always you know, tell people when I talk about my research is that aging is inevitable. We are all going to age, hopefully. Um, but maybe cognitive decline does not have to be. And if we can really understand what happens, what are the precursors to Alzheimer's, what are the precursors to dementia and cognitive impairment, we can stop it before it begins. If we could actually help people to remember better, right? Remember who their daughter is and not get confused. Um, for example, that would be extremely meaningful because we would um, be tapping into how to make humanity better.